My name is Chanel Griggs, and this is a poem I just wrote called December, Mr. Truck Driver. They say he lived for 20 minutes before he died. And the first thing that goes through my mind is why. I thought he didn't suffer, and that gave me comfort. Like, why, God? Why this accident couldn't have been just a simple bumper to bumper like, damn. This man who drives a truck really took my brother. They say it's a hearing coming up and this man has to pay, but just a citation, a ticket, meaning in no jail would this man have to stay, not even for a day. And see, before I knew the truth, I prayed for this man. I asked God to forgive him, walk and talk with him and never let go of his hand. I wanted to forgive him and a part of me still wants to because deep down inside, I know that's what Hezzy would have wanted me to do. And most will say that I'm just a big fool. But I'm the same person who smiles in my molester's face. And in 2019, my rapist will be out of prison just because I told the judge to sentence him with a little grace because God told me to forgive. And that's why I'm still able to love, respect, and be there for my boyfriend even after all he did see. Nothing in this world could ever break the kid. But I swear this almost did. Because that man had 20 minutes to get out of that truck and my brother could have lived. This will be the realest, raw shit I'll ever write. Skeletons out the closet so with them I can stop the fight. Because nobody could ever tell Chanel's truth. Like people all in my brother's finances now. Like they were the ones who purchased and supplied his roof. But you know how much talking needs do. For you, Hezzy. I'm going to stand up to the world and your life, your legacy with my voice will be known by every boy and girl. So I'm going back to your death place and I'll look your life taker in his face as I examine him, trying to find if his soul cries within. Looking to see if he's clean shaved, trying to look innocent because he know he put you in an early grave and will he even look my way? As I watch his family to see what their expressions say. Is his eyeballs foggy? I want to see how much sleep he's gotten. And if more than me, the bags under his eyes will tell if he can't sleep at night because he constantly sees my brother in his dreams. Like, does he have a conscience or not? Because I've been consciously thinking why the brakes in his truck never came to a stop. If your honor gives me the chance to speak in front of his family, I'll ask for mercy. If this man could tell the truth, like why my brother was hit so hard that it damn near took off his car's roof. See, he was just on his way home. Mr. Truck Driver, were you on the phone? Why did you sit in your truck and leave my brother there alone? And I still pray that when your children get grown, that if they ever get hurt, they won't be left there like a lonely dog's bone. And Mr. Truck Driver... I pray the cops don't ever have to ring your grandma's bell at 4 o'clock in the morning, almost giving her a heart attack to tell her that her grandson is gone with no goodbye and no warning. And Mr. Truck Driver, I always pray that at 4 or something in the morning that your sick aunt who needs oxygen just to live don't have to be the one calling. Calling everyone with her last breath with something so important like now. Has just gotten an accident and he didn't make it. I damn near killed myself because the pain I couldn't take it. Mr. Truck Driver, I pray you don't ever feel this pain because the flashbacks of my brother's broken neck on that M.E.'s table in my head replays again and again. And the only reason why I'm living is for him. Because... I know he's in heaven, and if I take my life, hell, I'll go paying for that transgression. I just pray you've learned a lesson, because I'm living for a dead man, and that's no way to live, because in this life, I just got so much to give. I want to have a bunch of little Hezekiahs running around the house, because he didn't have the chance to, and I'm going to raise them up the right way and teach them about their uncle and forgiving Mr. Truck Driver, too. This will be the realest, raw shit I'll ever write. God have mercy on the both of them and forgive me, Lord, for trying to take my life. Rest in peace, Hezzy, my friend, my brother to be. I just pray that you continue to always bring the best out in me.